All right, so here's a quick and easy uh, modification you can make to your 1022. Um, I've already taken the uh, the bolt out of here, and you can see right here on the top of the uh, the receiver that you got some powder coating. Um, you can see where mine's wearing a little bit. That's where the uh, the bolt, as it rides back and forth, it rubs against that, and um, anyway, it causes some fix friction there if you have the powder coating in there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do two things. First, I'm going to level off the uh, the bolt top here, and I'm just going to be using some some 400 grit sandpaper on this uh, flat board here. I'm just going to be rubbing that on the top. And then I'm also going to use some steel wool, and I'm going to try to get this powder coating out. Now, I've already gone ahead and taken some uh, citrus strip, and I've dabbed it on there to hopefully loosen that uh, powder coating up a little bit. Um, I let it sit for about a half hour. And now I'm just going to take this uh, steel wool and uh, work that uh, powder coating out of there. <laughs> You can see there that I've gone ahead and got as much of that powder coating as I think that needs to come out. Um, basically, I just took it right here on the, along the top. And you can see a little bit around here on the on the sides. So now I'm going to use some polishing compound to, to polish that up. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take some 400 grit sandpaper and I'm going to polish the top of this bolt down. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is, is level it with the sandpaper. And then also on the back here, on the back of the bolt, uh, I don't know if you can see this real great, but you can see where the hammer hits the bolt. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this off just a little bit more right here um, so there's more of a, of a radius there to, uh, to help soften that, uh, that hit with the, uh, the hammer as the bolt comes back. So I'm going to soften that up a little bit and then I'm also going to polish that. So basically I'm just going to take this now, put this down, and I'm just going to put this uh, piece of paper on something flat. I've already cleaned this board off. And I'm going to take the top of the bolt, and I'm just going to go along the top there, like that. Just level that off nice. So you don't need to do it a ton. I'm going to work on it just a little bit more, but uh, but basically you're just trying to get that so it's a little bit smoother, and, and take any bumps uh, bumps away. Um, but as far as the little pits and stuff that are inside of it, don't try to work all those out. Just try to work out um, getting the, the top smooth there. And then also on the back side, like I was showing you, just just roll it up like this. Try to keep uh, everything straight. So I'm going to do that a little bit more. I'm going to do it both on this uh, back side here where the, uh, the bolt hits the hammer. I'm also going to work on the, uh, the top leveling that off a little bit. Now that I've uh, leveled this off with some 400 grit and uh, kind of increased the radius on that, uh, that back there. So basically what happens is, is this comes with a, with a really um, sharp corner and I've taken the sandpaper and kind of uh, made it bigger so when it hits that uh, that firing pin like this it doesn't have such a clank to it it's more of a soft hit uh, don't know if that makes sense to you or not but uh, basically by rounding that off or making that radius bigger it uh, it softens the hit on the on the hammer so um, now I'm going to take some thousand grit sandpaper and uh, and just hit those uh, areas again before polishing um, you're going to want to take this uh, bolt handle here, bolt spring, and uh, you're going to want to polish this little pad here. Um, basically, this also rides against the top of the receiver, so you're going to want to polish that off too. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit it with some 400 grit, and then 1,000 grit, and then I'll use some polishing compound to, to polish that up, and I'll show you the polishing compound here in just a second. Okay, I just wanted to show you on this. Um, you can see here, you can still see some uh, little uh, pits in there. 
Now, I'm not trying to take all those out. I just want to level this off so that as it's riding across the top of the receiver, um, there's less friction there. Um, if I take too much of this off, there's going to be too much play in the bolt and the receiver, and I don't want that to happen. Um, so I'm going to leave those little pits in there. I'm just going to level this off, make it nice and smooth, um, all the parts that actually touch the top of the receiver. Um, so you can see here, same thing. There's, uh, there's little pits in there, and that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to take some polishing compound and a little cloth rag. This is a little uh, cotton rag and I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, polishing compound to, uh, to polish these up. So I'm going to keep working this for a little while. I don't think you need to watch me do it the whole time. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and keep working this for a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to try to get that so it's nice and shiny. <coughs> All right, I've gone ahead and polished that up. Got some fingerprints on it, but it's nice and shiny now. Um, now, it's not like a mirror because, you know, you've got these little pits, but it's still pretty shiny. And basically, that's what I want. I want something that... Uh, that is smooth to right on top of that receiver to help uh, eliminate some of the, uh, the friction there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and polish down the inside of this too. I'm probably going to start with some steel wool and uh, that polishing compound. And uh, I'm just going to rub it in there really good. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just take a, this, uh, this cotton rag here and then wipe that polishing compound in there until it's nice. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but but basically I've shined this up a little bit. Now, it's not a mirror finish. I don't want a mirror finish. I just want to polish off everything that's going to be touching the uh, the bolt. So I know a lot of guys will polish this down until it's a mirror finish. Um, I don't know that I agree with that. And the reason why I say that is because um, I want things to still be kind of tight in there. Um, I think when you polish it down too much, and you'll get too much play in there. So I'm going to keep some of these uh, these little pits in there. And I'm just going to do it so that it's it's uh, somewhat shiny. It doesn't have to be a, a mirror finish, like I said. So that's my personal opinion on this. Um, somebody else will, will tell you something different. If you want a mirror finish, then do a mirror finish on it. But um, basically, that's how I'm going to do it. All right, I thought I'd show you this. The last thing that you got to do is take out your uh, your hammer here and, uh, and polish that up right there on that, where that uh, touches the bolt on the inside of the rifle so basically this comes back and hits that and you're gonna want to polish that up right there so um, now I've already polished it up on this trigger assembly so I'm not gonna do it again but uh, just keep aware of that polish that up and uh, then I'll make everything run smooth inside the, uh, the uh, receiver um, lastly I know you guys were probably freaking out about the uh, the uh, polishing compound getting inside of this firing pin here I'm going to go ahead and take that out by removing this pin and um, cleaning that up. And uh, you know, since you got your bolt out, you might as well clean everything up, put some oil on it, and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that, and then I'm going to put the gun back together. All right, you guys. Well, there she is. I went ahead and put her back together, and uh, see there, it's running real nice and smooth. You can hear that it doesn't clank real bad when I hit the uh, the back of the receiver, and that's because I put this nylon bolt bolt stop or bolt buffer back here. Um, basically I've got another video that shows you how to do that. It's just a nylon uh, bolt that you can get at Home Depot, cost you 75 cents to do. So check that out. Um, that's an easy quick little mod uh, polishing the bolt down and the, uh, and the receiver and also the, uh, <coughs> the hammer. So uh, give it a shot. It'll reduce some of the, the vibration or fric friction inside of your, uh, your gun there and make you shoot a little bit straighter and a little bit smoother. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below like always. Or you can find me at theprojectjunkie.com and my name is Mark. And I'll catch you guys on the next project.